Still ahead, a major step forward in Disney's bid for 21st Century Fox. A wealth of information for managing your money. This is the WBBM Noon Business Hour. The uh, proposed Disney acquisition of 21st Century Fox is a big step closer to reality today. Shareholders of both companies approved it uh, just this morning. Now we're talking with returning guest Tim Hanlon, the founder and CEO of Vertair Group here in Chicago. Tim, good to have you back on the program. Uh, what was uh, what was the key here to uh, to this moving forward? Hey, Nick. It's, uh, basically, it's uh, both uh, uh, boards uh, of each company uh, essentially agreeing uh, to uh, the acquisitions of the transaction, and uh, it's already basically cleared all the regulations uh, uh, from. Uh, various places in the U.S. and uh, as well as abroad. So it's effectively a uh, de facto rubber stamp uh, of the deal. And essentially, it's just uh, just a matter of uh, crossing the T's and dotting the I's for uh, Disney to uh, fully acquire uh, all of these uh, assets of uh, 21st Century Fox. Uh, when we look at the numbers, it's uh, 73, uh, 71 plus billion dollars. Uh, I think Rupert Murdoch uh, has Comcast to thank for a sweetening of the deal, correct? Uh, no doubt about that. And uh, Comcast uh, bowed out uh, after uh, with uh, Brian Roberts, the CEO of Comcast, admitted uh, to become uh, just uh, an unwieldy uh, amount of money uh, for, for all these assets. But that said, I mean, these assets are obviously very uh, valuable in a very fast-changing uh, media landscape. We've talked about that for, for many, many uh, different uh, uh, conversations over the years on this show. And you know, Disney is getting some very uh, uh, alluring assets, especially in the content uh, creation side of it, from movie studio and television studio stuff, uh, as well as, uh, frankly, some uh, very uh, valuable international television assets that, uh, frankly, people in the United States don't uh, see the value of or really understand, but uh, will get them very uh, uh, entrenched in places like the U.K. and in India. Tim, another major media company that's in the news today, and it's not good news for CBS, where Les Moonves, president and CEO of the company, reportedly is the subject of a new article that's coming up in The New Yorker alleging sexual misconduct. You know, we've seen this play out before at other places, other corporations. Uh, what's going to happen here, do you think? Well, uh, a couple of things. Obviously, can't speak specifically to uh, the allegations or the story that uh, The New Yorker apparently is going to publish, uh, I think, today. Uh, but, you know, there's uh, probably no company in the media space, perhaps with the ex- exception of Rupert Murdoch, who uh, has a person uh, in, in the, the personality of somebody like Les Moonves that is uh, attached uh, so uh, directly to the, uh, the company in, the, in, in CBS. Um, I suspect that, uh, you know, a lot of what Les Moonves uh, does with CBS is, uh, is intertwined with his uh, personality. He's uh, largely responsible for that company. Uh, being very successful over the years. But I also suspect that there's, you know, let's be honest, there is a uh, battle that CBS has with Viacom right now. Uh, and who knows what the, uh, uh, the background and the, uh, the battle sort of between that is. But uh, there's a very acrimonious relationship right now between Viacom and CBS to put possibly those assets back together again. And he's been resisting this all along. Sherry Redstone must be uh, kind of gleeful about, you know, if there's schadenfreude there, it, it probably would be hers. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it, you know, who, who's to say what uh, things happen in the heat of battle and stuff? I mean, the timing of the story certainly could be questioned. But, you know, uh, obviously, uh, you know, the uh, allegations are uh, true and uh, are as severe as, uh, as claimed, you know, can be a very hugely disruptive uh, issue, not only to less uh, personally, but also the company and these, uh, this combination possibly. Tim, thanks so much. Tim Hanlon is founder and CEO of the Vertera Group here in Chicago. 